I don't come every Sunday for what I can get. Now, I do like you say amen. I like that. Amen? amen. I, I do like that. Amen. But, but I come, I pray every Sunday that I can give you something. Now, see, you, you, you want to draw your equity out now. Because you've been spending time with them. You've been talking about with them. You've been going places with them. You've been talking about God. Now you can say, you know, God doesn't want you to do that. Then you've got spiritual equity in them. Now, you hadn't been building spiritual equity in them. They're going to get mad at you. Now, now all of a sudden, you want to try to tell me what to do. And they don't appreciate it. So my telling you right now, if you have children, you better start spending equity with them. Spiritual equity is time with them to have them in church, under church, in the Word, under the Word. I'd have them at church every single day. I'm preaching this to the youth when they come in next service. I want them to know part of their relationship is with their friends and with God. But when their friends leave them, God never will. So they better stay with God. Can I tell you something? You better start teaching your kids other people are going to come and go in your life. I, I, they, the first time they get a boyfriend or girlfriend, they think, oh, they're going to be with me for life. They're not. They're going to have friends that come. They're going to have friends that go. They're going to have people that hurt them. That, that they, they're going to hurt people. You've been hurt. I've been hurt. We've all been hurt. You're going to go through hurts in your life. But if you're not teaching them right now, hey, God will help you. Don't fear people. God said, be with me.